Hi everyone, it's Nancy here, back with another process video. Um, so here I am trying to describe two photos. Again, I'm using um, the Fifth and Frolic collection from Dear Lizzie. Um, and I'm also going to be using that cupcake paper which came from, um, I think it was a crepe paper um, paper stack I had. Um, and that was like a birthday themed collection. I just wanted to use that um, paper as a background. Again, as you know, I've said in a previous video, it's got words all to do with like home and house around. But I thought just in a small bit there, you won't actually see it. And I'm using that triangle paper um, as a background. And I'm just going to cut one of my photos down and mount these on this piece of, I believe it's crepe paper um, cardstock that I had left over. And I'm just putting a small border around those. Um, I think it was from the close knit collection. And now just trying to work out where I'm going to place my photo. And then I'm going to add some mist. And that is the white um, two grass one, so of course I do have to shake it up quite a lot. Then I'm adding some root 66 and then some of the gold colour shine. Oh, not gold, um, coral colour shine even. So I'm really um, happy with how that looks, so I'm just going to try and dry that off. As I said, that white does take quite a while. Um, to dry and I never sure if it's easier to like wave it around or just leave it in one place um, I do find that that um, white one does kind of bubble a bit if you get too close to it so it's not really much else I can write about that <laughs> um, so I'm just deciding that I want to um, mount that on a another piece of paper and I pull out this pink piece so I'm just going to double layer that up and again because these papers are you know from the same collection they um you know the color matches up really well I'm just going to stick my photos down there in the middle um, because where I sort of layer them up they always end up pulling up a little bit and now I'm going to um, just ink the edge of that um, outer um, layer because because the background is, uh, is quite dull and quite sort of grungy um, that pink was just a little bit too bright so I just wanted to take it down a little bit and I'm then just using an off cut in the bottom corner and just mounting that again on a bit of that um, close knit collection paper I decided to stick my photo down I do end up sticking it a little bit lower than I planned as well Okay, so I'm now going through my Project Life cards. What I have done with my Project Life is, um, you've seen me that I had them all sort of standing up in that box and it was getting quite difficult to store them in my very small craft area. And as I'm looking at moving back to the caravan as well, I um, put all the sunshine collection which was in that box back in the box and then I've split all the other cards up just into some little Ziploc bags. Um, just again because I brought sort of part kits um, I'm not even sure what um, some of them are and um, which is a real shame actually because I don't know if someone will be able to tell me but the card I actually end up using as my title um, I really like but I'm not sure um, what collection it's from I think it might be the coral but if anyone can comment below and let me know that would be that would be really great um, not that I need to go and buy it, I just, you know, I just like to know what collection it's from. Um, it's that one, the Sweetest Sugar one. 
So I decided I'm going to use that as my title. As I um as I'm kind of looking at these cards I decide I want to use that orange one but I don't unfortunately the orientation of where the that sort of little subtitle bit is on there um, it wasn't going to work because I wanted to make sure that was covered up so what I end up doing is just flipping the card around and then finding my corner rounder um, just to round off the corners um, and then I'm going to hide where that bit is I decide to mount that card um, I'm going to put it over the bottom of the photo a bit um, these are just some two photos of a cupcake shop bakery we went past in um, San Francisco. We didn't go in but um, we just absolutely loved the um, window display of all these cupcakes lined up so and I really I mean I kind of um, my boyfriend took the picture actually um, and he's like oh you'll want to put that in your scrapbook <laughs> so, so I'm just looking at I'll just cut this um, Dear Lizzie card up um, it's from the um, cut part sheet and I'm just splitting that up over the two areas and then I want to use that colour up in the top again but um, the problem is it has got that sort of white bird design on but I am going to end up covering that up and I've just cut a little bit off there on the bottom um, which I will end up using in a cluster there I'm not quite sure what I'm doing now. They'd just be gluing these little bits down. I'm using my new Stamping Up banner and I do like it because there's these tiny little banners so I can use those in the clusters and again I'm just using um, a scrap of that close knit um, polka dot paper. And I am going to end up moving these around quite a lot. And I'm not going to stick that card down quite yet. I am just going to cut a little bit out in the video in a minute because I'm going to do some fussy cutting of these cupcakes. So you will just see the um, video. I'm jump, I'm choosing three of those. Um, two of the same design and one of a different design. And as if by magic, there they are all cut out. Um, I decide that I also want to add a doily to this page, so I go for one of the cream doilies. And that's also going to make it easier to cover up that um, top part of the layout of that card, which I didn't um, didn't want showing. And I'm then going to add it to the bottom cluster there where I'm going to have my title card. Um, and I, I haven't stuck that down yet until I'm 100% sure of the position. I do just pull up this bottom cluster um, because I want to um, add another, add, you know, add some more detail and that was just sticking out a little bit too far. Um, so I'm using a little bit of that journaling card cut up and I'm just going to use my um, Stamping Up Punch there to cut a little bit of that close knit collection to just cut another little banner out for that. And that's what I really like about that banner is you can just create those little sort of um, tiny little details. And I think it's going to be really useful kind of using up my scraps. I use some dimensionals to stick down these cupcakes. Um, just raise them off the page slightly. Um, I do just put um, another one on that top bit there because it's going over several layers of paper. Okay, so the one that's been moved around several times is just being stuck down. And again, I'm going to use dimensionals on that cupcake. And again, just using my beloved pokey tool to um, to pull the backing off those. And again, I'm not minding that it's layering over the photo a little bit either. I'm going to have a few um, problems with this top cluster, just trying to get everything to work. Because again, I want to you know put that banner in that in, but it is going to use a bit of, um, leave a little bit of empty space there. So what I decide um, I need to do is just cut another um, sort of cupcake to layer behind it. This one was sort of going off the old, the 
off the edge of that page so it's not a full one but as it's going to be you know covered up it doesn't matter too much so as I said I'm just fussy cutting that out I'm just liking how <coughs> they're layered and I don't add dimensionals to that one I think that's a really good thing you know it's using up even more of those little bits of paper I do actually end up chucking away the rest of that paper after this layout because I don't think I've got any more cupcake photos that I'm going to use it was a half use sheet I know there is another one in the pack so I decided to just put it in the bin and stop hoarding it so I just added some mist over those pieces and now I'm going through my die cuts box looking at anything I can add to this layout um, I've pulled out one of those Polaroid frames from the Dear Lizzie collection again and the colours work really well with this one and so I'm going to end up just tucking that behind that top cluster I'm just inking the edges there again I really like how that looks and then I'm using some uh, these are from the Maggie Holmes collection I'm just using some of the cut parts and I'm looking at adding this this top cluster but then have the problem of there being another um, sort of piece of dead space so you are going to see me pull another <laughs> piece of paper out there to put up I pull out these Jenny Bolin um, stamps and actually get them all used up. There you go. There you see me doing the empty sheet dance. Um, so I'm really pleased I've got them used up because they've been in my stash a long time. So I've just gone to my die cut box and found another label from um, Maggie Holmes' cup art sheet. And I'm just going to add that to that top cluster. And I'm really happy with how that looks. I'm just going from my die cut boxing if there's anything else that I can possibly layer on here. I'm just looking for some other bits of paper. I'm seeing if I wanted to add some stickers on here. I pull out these cork pieces. I was thinking about layering a couple of those on there. But decide against it. I'm really just looking for some like finishing touches for the layout. Um, I decided to go to my wood veneer box, and as they they don't go with the page at all, but I bring out these um, flower wood veneers and just put three of those um, in a different cluster, and then one down in the bottom cluster. And I just like what it adds to the page. It, you know, so it doesn't go go with the page particularly. But I just like how it is, how they how they look, just tucked behind the different layers there. And I do just add like a little flower um, one on the bottom there, just to it all kind of ties up. So thank you very much for watching. I have some still photos coming up, and I'll be back with some more process videos later this week. Cheers! Bye.